Many centuries ago, there was a kingdom, one of beings born of powers that rivaled even the gods. Many craved what they had, tried to bring them down, but failed. Within the kingdom lived the princess, and her people treasured her above all else. She was powerful, kind, and would do anything for her people. For you see, she was a gift from the gods, blessed with more than anyone could bear. The ruler of the kingdom fell in love with the princess, and when she returned his affection, they became one, forming a union more powerful than the foundations of their realm. And the king and queen saw many years of prosperity. Sounds sweet. The kingdom's happiness could only last so long, though. Great evil crept into their domain, and the king and queen's bond and protection over their people was tested. Darkness swept across the kingdom destroying everything in its path, and the king and queen were torn apart, the queen falling to that very darkness. What happened? The goddess passed down another blessing, but this blessing was powerful, and balance had to be maintained, so a curse was laid down as well. The king was bound to where he resided, waiting for the time when his queen would return. Did she ever return? She did, and they were happy, but there are many evil things in the world and time and time again, they were torn apart. So the king was left to wait for his queen to return to him, cursed to live without her. That's terrible. It is, but he never gave up hope that she would one day find him again. He spent the rest of his days searching for her until she would return to him and he could feel whole again. That's such a depressing story. Is this really what immortals tell their children at bedtime? It's one of many stories, but this particular one gives them hope. How does it give them hope? That though dark times come, hope will always return.